Hi guys, Sean here from StudyClix, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Theorem 14. So this is Pythagoras' Theorem, and Pythagoras' Theorem is really famous, I think everyone remembers it from school, and it's quite a memorable name, and it's really culturally relevant, um, because it's kind of associated with ancient Greece and all the maths they did back then. But all this theorem states is that in a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is the sum of the squares of the other, of the other two sides. Or quite famously, a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared where in this case, A, B, and C correspond to these sides, and uh, because B and C are just unknowns, they're kind of interchangeable, but A does need to be the side that's opposite the right angle, uh, which is the longest side, and it's the hypotenuse, uh, for this equation to hold true. So we're just going to run through a quick example, where A is equal to 13, B is equal to 5, and C is equal to 12, which means that we just need to check if 13 squared is equal to 5 squared plus 12 squared. And I'm just going to spoil this and say that this is true because this is actually quite a famous, what you would call a Pythagorean triple. So basically three numbers uh, which form a triangle with a right angle in it. But I'm just going to show you anyways. So 13 squared is equal to 169, which is equal to 25, which is 5 squared, plus 144, which is 12 squared. So uh, that is it for this video on Pythagoras' theorem. I hope you find it useful and I'll see you next time.